Good day, Junior Tickies. I am Mrs. Brummelcombe, and we are going to look at Activity 4 on Fixed Assets. If I look at this activity, required, calculate the amounts indicated by 1 to 4 and make sure that you show your workings. Again, this is similar type of questions that was asked before. The format, if we look at the way in which they're asking it, this is what you can expect in grade 12 when completing tests and exam papers. Grade 11, the focus was, and in grade 10, completing the tangible asset note from the beginning to the end. Now we are just asking bits and pieces for you and you need to solve that. So it's very important that you understand this note. Now, if I look at the following information relates to the fixed or tangible assets for the year ended 31 July 2021. Again, it is always important to understand when does your accounting period end and when does it start. Looking now at the first question at Landon Buildings, extensions to the buildings were done during the current financial year. Again, I don't need to look at the information to know that there was a movement. Why? If I go to movement, I would see that disposal at carrying value is zero. Depreciation will always be zero. But when I look at the balances beginning and end, I can see that there's a difference. The balance increased. If the balance increased, it means that we bought more assets. So I start with the opening balance, 2.5 million, plus additions minus disposal equals the balance at the end. So the difference is the additions of 700,000. Now remember I said in the previous activity, we are going to look at cash flow statement, planting the seeds, putting water on top of it. When we look at cash flow statement, we need to find out in the investing activity, what was the proceeds from the sale of assets and what was the purchase of non-current assets. So this addition would form part of the purchase of non-current assets. Looking at question number two, we need to calculate what is the depreciation for this accounting period on vehicles. So looking at the information provided, the business owns two vehicles. Details from the asset reg register is as follows. Now, just a reminder again, what is an asset register? It's an individual record of all of my assets each one individually. So if I look at the tangible asset note, that is a summary of everything added together. Now, focusing on Vanessa, you would see that the cost is 240,000, the accumulate in the beginning is 225,000 and the carrying value is 15,000. When you see that the carrying value is that low, alerts must go off. Why? If I look at calculating the depreciation using the cost, 25%, if I take 240,000 and I times it by 25%, it equals 60,000. If I add that to the 225,000, it will be more than the cost of my asset. So this means we've reached the lifespan of this asset. Remember in the previous activity, they said to you specifically, it has reached the lifespan. And I said to you, be aware, because they're not always going to tell you that that is the case. You always need to check it. So when you see that the carrying value is this low, make sure that you understand that you need to do the following. 
if the carrying value is that low, we cannot have a negative amount, we cannot have a zero, so then our carrying value at the end should be one. So we take the carrying value in the beginning minus the carrying value at the end and that equals your depreciation for this year. Please remember, this is now one asset, so my carrying value should be one. If I had five of the same Nissan Bucky's, for example, or car or vehicle, I would have said the carrying value at the end should be five, so then I need to subtract five from the carrying value in the beginning. We always need to times it by the number of assets. Please remember this for in the future. Looking now at the Ford, we are going to take the cost, which is 312,000, and we're going to times it by 25%. So my total depreciation on vehicles is 92,999. The third question, we need to calculate the carrying value on the 1st of August 2020 for equipment. So this is an easy mark to get. Why? How do we calculate the carrying value? We always take the cost minus the accumulated depreciation equals the carrying value. So my carrying value for equipment in the beginning is 676,000. Now we need to solve disposal at carrying value. The depreciation on equipment is written off at 20% per annum on the diminishing balance method. So to calculate now disposal of asset looking at equipment, a photocopier was sold for cash to Zimbo internet shop on 30 April 2021. The photocopier was sold at a loss of 250 due to damage. According to the fixed asset register, the photocopier was originally purchased for 9,200. Accumulated depreciation on this item is 6,400. So if I open up asset disposal and we're going to go through the steps again. Step number one, take out the cost. Step number two, update the depreciation. Step number three, take out the total accumulated depreciation. Step number four, record the selling price. Step number five, calculate if you made a profit or a loss. So now I'm just going to fill in the information what we've got. We sold it for cash. Cash means that my selling price, my details, is going to be bank. The photocopier was sold at a loss of 250. So I'm going to say a loss always appears on the credit side of the asset disposal account 250. According to the fixed asset register, the photocopier was originally purchased for 9200 So the cost is 9200 Accumulated depreciation on this item was 6400 on the 1st of August 2020. So then I'm going to fill that in in brackets. Just to pause there for one minute. If they said to you the accumulated depreciation, or let's say Robert, they haven't provided the accumulated depreciation to you in the beginning, but they said to you, when did you actually buy this asset? That should be an indication that you will need to update your depreciation from the day that you've purchased it until the current financial year. So when you need to do that, I always suggest do it in the format as if you would have recorded 
or if, if you would have completed a fixed asset register where you show each and every year what was the depreciation, what is the accumulate, and what is the book value. Now they made it easy by, by providing you with the balance on the 1st of August 2020. So to calculate the depreciation, it's important to understand when does my accounting period end. It ends 31 July 2021. It means it starts the 1st of August 2020. This asset was sold on the 30th of April 2021, which means we need to calculate depreciation from the beginning of the accounting period until the day that we've sold it, and that is equal to nine months. So using the diminishing balance method, we need to get the book value, which is 9,200 minus 6,400, and then we times it by 20%, and very important, times nine divided by 12. So my total depreciation is 420, and that is added to the balance in the beginning. So the total accumulate is 6,820. Now to calculate the book value, we need to take the cost minus the accumulated depreciation. This is number four, which will appear in your fixed asset or tangible asset note. If I were to ask you, but what was the selling price? How can I calculate how much we sold it for? Again, the asset disposal is like filling in the pieces, putting in the pieces and then finding that missing piece. What is the missing piece? Bank. So that becomes the balancing figure. So this is how I would calculate for how much did we sell it? Cash. When we're doing cash flow statement and we're looking at investing activity, what was the proceeds from the sale of the asset? In cash flow statement, it will always be at book value, the selling price. So then we would have said 2,380. This is just again planting the seeds for moving forward. Thank you very much. Work hard, dream big, never give up. I hope you have a wonderful day and make sure that you watch our next video on an activity on fixed assets. Goodbye.